Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. I've got a pretty exciting video for you today, especially for those of you that are interested in building your own worlds. We are going to be looking at a mod that lets us import finished structures into our world using simple functions. Now, this has been tested working in Education Edition, but it works in Pocket Edition, and it works in Bedrock too. So let's dive in and take a look and see how it works. Okay, so here we are in a flat world. We're going to hit forward slash type function and we get a drop down list here. We're going to go Asian temple, which is my favorite one of these awesome um, kind of prefab things you can import. And it comes in three parts. So you have to stand in the same place and run this uh, function three times. Uh, the first time Asian temple, then one, then two. And as you can see, it kind of layers up the three different layers of this massive awesome Asian temple it really is cool and uh, the function is just it's just a link to a loads of loads of lines of code we'll look at the lines of code later um, so instead of typing in one by one you know fill this area with this and this area with that it's a function uh, that takes us to uh, a, a kind of a text document with all of those lines of code in there's an awesome sales ship that we've got function what should we do next let's go for a sail ship six I think the higher the number the more extreme it seems to be <laughs> look at that I mean the idea of just importing these things straight in just with a simple line of code is just awesome there's an Arabic house Arabian house can't remember um, little farm there that's awesome import that and yeah just forward slash function and throw those in I'm gonna throw a load of these down so you can have a look at look at that that is a military ship that's awesome that's so cool uh, i'm going to throw a load of these in and just go through them so you can see what they all look like we'll have a look at the lines of code at the end and uh we'll see how we uh, get on from there that is okay japanese boat that's really cool Some more sail ships the factory is awesome let's have a look at the factory look how big it is from one line of code, it imports that massive factory. And guys, all of these are really detailed inside. It's got it's got all the stuff inside. You can explore these. We'll have a little look around some of them later, um, but I want to get through them all. So let's do modern house seven. And straight away, we've got just an awesome looking modern house full of all the furniture and stuff that you need with it. It's just unbelievable that we could do this. I know I did a video on command blocks ages ago. And command blocks are great because you can export a, um, you can export a 3D file, but you can't import one back in. It's really hard in Minecraft Education without any mods uh, to import something, uh, some kind of file. Even with mods, it's, it's tricky. Uh, so this one is kind of a good compromise, really. It works well at um, bringing. Whoa! It's this. Sorry, this one's called Voyager, by the way, and it's this crazy spaceship. That's amazing. Uh, let's import another one. Look at that! Look at the size of it. Uh, this is from Star Trek, I think. It's the Voyager thing, um, which is that TV show. I guess the person who made this probably likes Star Trek, I don't know. But we've got a cool medieval house. Uh, but yeah, as, as I was saying, it's, it's actually really hard to get structures that you've made across to different worlds. You can use forward slash copy and fill and stuff like that to, to copy and uh, paste structures into the same world but once you move across to a different world you lose all that information so having this um, massive array of different uh, structures just ready to import in is awesome and uh, this is a really simple mod you just click it's a behavior pack you just activate it and um, then all the functions are there they just auto complete you can tab through them all uh, let's have a look at a train station we do want to see, that's really cool. Just popping a train station down, one line of code, done, job done. Military ship, let's have a look at this one. Look at that, it's huge. Okay, so the one thing I will say about these uh, structures when you put them down, they're not always consistent about where they appear. There's an Asian house, that's bigger than a house, isn't it? That's not a house, <laughs> that's huge, look at it. Is massive. Let's uh, have a look around this. So yeah, they're not always consistent about where they appear. So if you want to really precisely place something down, it's really hard because once it's been placed, 
it's very difficult just to get rid of it and try again and place it somewhere slightly different. Um, there's the Sphinx, because <laughs> we all need a Sphinx in our world. Let's chip off a bit of the nose. It's already chipped a bit, but let's chip the rest off, like the original, there you go. Um, so if you want really precise control over where you put these structures, it is really difficult without using like a world edit tool, like an external bit of software that lets you really precisely place 3D structures down. Uh, but this is a really good compromise if you if you want to, say, build a modern house and, and build everything else around that, and you're not too fussed about which direction it faces in and where exactly it is, uh, then it works really well. Um, here's a massive glass bottle. The other thing about this mod um, is that it's just a, it seems like quite a random array of different structures, like a massive glass bottle. You've got Star Trek ships. Uh, it's a bit of a, a mess. But let's go. Let's go to the download and open it with. Um, we want to kind of extract it and see what's inside. You could use WinRAW. I'm on a Mac. I'm going to use the an archiver. And as you can see, when you extract this, you and you go into the functions there. They're just text documents. Um, so if I double click on one of these, um, I'll go on the one of the Voyager ones because they were interesting. If I double click on one of these, it's just lines of code. It's just filling coordinates with materials. And look how much there is. Look how many lines of code for each of these each of these structures there are. I'd be really interested in as to how the person who made this created this. I would I would really like to uh, find out how to take a structure and convert it to those lines of code so you can add it to this pack. Um, so if there's anyone out there that knows how to do that, that would be awesome. Um, and I'll, I'll look into it myself, but it's crazy. I mean, just having this pack um, in your worlds when you're creating worlds, whether it's for your students or whether it's just for fun, and the amount of effort and time it would save is huge. Um, considering that you want some of these things. There's lots of house, modern houses, Asian houses, medieval houses and stuff, which people do quite often want to build, but there's some other strange stuff in there. So download the pack, the link is in the description, and have a look through. And um, I'm sure there's something for everybody. The ships are really awesome, the, medi the um, sail ships and the battleships and all that kind of stuff. They're just awesome. Uh, but I'm gonna kind of roam around, we'll have a look inside the modern house and uh, then we'll finish up there. But yeah, really awesome pack. Uh, go to MCPEDL, download this one. It's an easy one to download as well. There aren't lots of ads, which is really, really good. Just click and download, activate the behavior pack, and you're away. Just forward slash function and uh, tab through some of those ones that are in there. I did test this on Pocket Edition and Bedrock 2, um, so it works fine on those. But uh, we'll, call it a, we'll call it a day on that video there. And um, I will see you all later in the week for another video. If you enjoyed this one, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all later in the week.